Hey, how you doing? Good. 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 So when I have a couple of beers, I get super punchy, right? Like, um, yeah, I get super punchy, bro. I get super punchy. Hey, I was backing you out. It's fucking cool. Mate, what's your fucking jeans? You're drunk. This is only, this is, this is like me in one mm. style. He's <laughs> a zesty cunt, mate. The airbender. Fucking. Wash your jeans, stop wearing bands, shave that little. Your mouth looks like a pussy, mate. He's got like a little runway in his mouth. We should, we just go and get <coughs> the ice and Yeah. Or go home. His mouth looks like a pussy, bro. You know what I mean? Like your mouth looks like a pussy, you know? It's oh, probably good when his boyfriend wants to stop. jizz on it, but. Have you a walking by? Well, I don't say anything, you're on YouTube. There's a funeral walking by. It's all chicks, it's all chicks for this guy. No guys shut up for the funeral, it's all chicks. There you go. Um, what did he say? He said, funny how you Brits talk shit about America will we'll kick your asses. Yeah, and what did I say? You may kick Britain's ass, but you will get PTSD doing it. Snowflake, did you see what North Koreans and Chinese did to you? USA has the record for the longest retreat in modern wa warfare. A few thousand Chinese troops and North Korea owned you. The Vietnamese smash you. You can't win a war against a first world country. Win a war with a country that has stop water and then you can act up. So the last time um, uh, China engaged with uh, the US was in North Korea and they got smashed, mate. America got smashed. It's the longest standing retreat in, in modern warfare. It's the longest standing retreat in modern warfare. It absolutely helped smash, mate. So don't talk, don't talk big, bro. Don't talk big, you know what I mean? And when you do get a strong leader like Trump, you try and lock him up for banging girls, mate. For banging a porn star, like, you get a strong leader like Trump, mate, you're the leader of your country is senile, mate. He's like, oh, 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 oh. mate. He, he shouldn't even have a box of matches, leave like the nuclear codes, mate. He should be in a nursing home. You're the leader of your country in the so-called free world, so anyway. If you had Trump, I'd probably be afraid, but without Trump, mate, yeah. Is there a bad pizza? Pizza's like sex, even when it's bad, it's still pretty good. Really? Oh my god, I look so black. Mm. Black pizza. <laughs> Navy SEAL or a Green Beret, there's only two paths. You either get PTSD or you start a podcast, or you do both. So yeah, there you go. What do you reckon, lovey? Americans, eh? One's a vegan or a Navy SEAL. They'll tell you. They will tell you. So yeah. Oh, Boracay's covered. Yeah. I'm happy here, love. Are they bringing it after the pizza or yeah, with the pizza? Yeah, I said with the pizza. Pizza's huge. Love, this pizza's huge. Sure? Yeah, it's ours. It's ours. Just to wait for the pizza. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, let's sort it out. No, I think so. This guy says gangster, troublemaker. Love you, sitting behind a gangster, troublemaker. Do you feel safe? Yeah. Do you feel safe? Yeah. Love, can you cut it open? It's the same as uh, the size of the one in. Thank you. It's pretty big, love. <laughs> oh my god, this thing's huge. It's pretty big, too. Go, go. Getting through the pizza, right? Third beer. There you go. Smash. Right up. 
pizza done. This is gangsta trouble maker fubu. So that little fat burping I'd be wearing a gangster troublemaker t-shirt. Love. Do you see that dog's t-shirt? Dog gangster troublemaker. Why is that little fat Filipino wearing a gangster t-shirt? It's from the gangster. He needs a dad, bro. He needs a dad to say, dickhead, don't dress like that. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. pizza in the book. Pizza in the books. There you go. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. What are they burning, love? Why are they burning it? So you know they clean up the burn, they clean up the farm and they burn it. They burn it. It's okay. for the mosquitoes and everything. Gets rid of them? Yeah. Look at this mountain side. The there's a mountain in the back of the mountain. I think there's a volcano there, the one behind the mountain. Yeah, it'll be a volcano for sure. Beautiful place, love. Beautiful place, beautiful girl. Love, I'm trying to eat. I'm trying to get you away from your mountain culture to a sea culture. I'm trying to bring you back to your roots. I'm trying to bring her back to her sea roots, like to remind her she's half Bajau. She's not just Eta. She's half Eta, she's half Bajau. But this is this is the Bajau side, right, love? What's that? These are the sea people, the Bajau. Yeah. Love, there's only Bajau and Eta. There's only Bajau and Eta with a bit of Spanish, right? So there's the mountain tribe, there's the sea tribe. Who else is there? A bit of Spanish? Slow down, slow down, slow down. I can breathe. BHB body control. Oh, the army, bruh. I feel like this vlog is really legit. Like we, we take you places you would never usually see. You'd never see any of these places in your life if you didn't come with us, right? Right, love you or not? Absolutely. So like and subscribe to Barbell Nomad. <laughs> Cunts. Only kidding, I love you. Ugh, subscribe. Subscribe so we can eat big. <laughs> like little eat beggars. Uh, this is where we have to get there. Uh, so, Jessica's brother can be a bit of a dick sometimes, Jeff. Like, but funny, I love him, mate. I love him a bit, right? But sometimes he can give it Elaine the shits, right? Elaine's his sister, right? So, what we did was we bought him funeral biscuits. Elaine egged me on, mate. Elaine egged me on. But I bought him a packet of funeral biscuits. And if you watch the video, it's funny. Right, it's funny, right, love? Yeah. He goes, well, what's this? Uh, well, well, what's this? We go, this is for you, Jeff. Just rest in peace, and, Jeff. And he says, well, well, what do you mean rest in peace? Well, what's this? These are funeral biscuits. Well, like, yeah, for you, mate. We're buying you funeral biscuits. Like, this is for bloody... Yeah, now, if he died, if he died the next day, I would have been in some deep shit, right? But he didn't, luckily. So, um, well, not luckily, statistically, he's not going to die, right? So, but if I'd bought him funeral biscuits, love, if I'd bought him funeral biscuits and he died that night, would the family be angry at me? Why are you thinking of that? Because I'm just saying, because you're superstitious people, mate. It's like, you, you don't look at what's scientifically plausible. If I gave him funeral biscuits and he died, would, would I be blamed or not? <laughs> that? So if I bought him funeral biscuits as a prank and then he died. Like, yeah, like, premonition. I get the like, premonition. Like ah, a premonition. Can you imagine in court? They're like, what did you do? Did you kill him? I bought you bought him funeral biscuits, right? It's not quite like shooting him with a 45, but yeah. There you go, lovey. Steam coming out of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. When did it last erupt? Do you know? I don't even know that the volcanic is. There you go. I thought they only have my own in Vigo. It's the most famous one. Okay. We have to see it. Like, and there's no lights and it, it's a mountain mate it's a mountain you go around a mountain this gully you just fall in the gully you're dumb bro but you're not dumb but you, 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 your cars 
your car's gonna tip for sure, right? Ah, uh, nice. Crazy view, love. That's a crazy view. Ferry. What way? Do we go? You got it. You got to turn around. Up. It's one way. Oh, that's the beer again. Just doing you what you love. It's so this beer. is the ferry here. You are now leaving the island of Zon. This is the ferry, right? So we can take that ferry. So this is the end, bro. This is the end, and it's just a, a hour ferry ride. And we're in Samar. So I want to do it, bro. I want to. I want to go to Samar, bro. I want to go to Samar. Do you want to go to Samar or not? No. We should go, come on, where's your sense of adventure? Let's go to Samar, mate. So dizzy. Come on, let's go to Samar. See ya. See ya. What are you going to call it? I see you in the Northern Territory. My up this house is so easy to find. The volcano, this view of the volcano, that's pretty gangster. Look at that. What's that? So this is where your auntie lives, right? This is where your mum's from. So was your mum born here? Yes. Your mum was born in Manog? Yes. What's your video caller? I told you that. I said, no, let's go. No, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you can video caller while we're driving, can't you? It's not going to make you drive nice. Yeah, can you see? They're washing in that gully, that's where they washed it from the mountains, so they wash there. They wash there. It's, it's all... So those people washing the water on the side of the mountain the, that comes out, there's volcanics, it's warm water on the volcano and they're washing it. So how cool is that? Check yeah. So that's the volcano, right? Well that's a great view, love. That's a good view. Check it out. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Imagine you go to school here, you got the volcano, the hot springs, the you can swim. Yeah, it's just great. There's a lot of work here though apparently. And here have been unreal. It's been so beautiful. Like, I mean, look at this. Last night, I was, so I was doing some power cleans in the car park at this good sport. Like, I was calling Barack off because he was trying to lift, but he had no, I don't know if he'd ever lift it before. Like, he didn't have, he had like a rounded spine. I was like, brother, uh, I'd rather you didn't lift it unless you can get your understanding of how to deadlift. Like, you've got to have that basic understanding of a straight spine, or you're going to wake up this morning in pain. It's that sound's coming out, though. Grab it. So my ex-wife is not a good driver, brother. She's not a good driver. She's like this, she drove us right in the land. Now she's like this. She's driving like this. That and she's texting. And then she's driving fast as well. I'm surprised she's still alive, to be honest with you. There's the mall. This is definitely a provincial town. Girl's got a German BMI, right? Which one? That one. He's looking at the things. Isn't like, yeah, he's like, what? Wow. He goes, of course she's driving. <laughs> gonna... Okay, so we're going here. My quiz. I don't know. It's just your pizza made with mother's love. Mmm. 
Sounds weird. Okay, we're getting this pizza. Yeah. Yeah, we got this pizza. Man, this. Whoa, that's insane. What size is that pizza? It's crazy. Yeah, 40 minutes, yeah. Are you here yet? Are you here? Pizza. And uh, we need some drinks from here and bring them in here. They don't have Coke. So it's pizza night. We're going to hit some Coca Cola. Supermarket. Yeah, it's been a sea lot, let me see. Let's see. Yeah, I might. Beers at this uh, pizza restaurant, and then uh, we're gonna eat a pizza, a couple of beers, and Saturday night, bro, Saturday night. Just on this beer, I haven't tried it before. Let's have a look, it's very cold, it's been the beach, so it's the right time for a beer. 5% alcohol. Let's try it. notification button so you're always updated with our blogs and see you in the next one bye oh don't subscribe i can really care less